Hey everyone, what is going on? And welcome back to another video in the Holiday Cup Ultra League Edition. So this is Zara Fellows' Legend Run. So they do have a Twitter. The link will be in the description down below. They also have a YouTube channel, so link in the description. And they have a Medify. So Medify is if you want to sign up for coaching, they do offer their coaching services. I personally don't do that, but Zara Fellows does, and he's an amazing bad list. So if you want to go ahead and get some coaching from Zara Fellows, that link will also be in the description down below. So yeah, this team, you know, he said he ran this team kind of like to mess around he didn't really expect it to do well and he ended up hitting legend with it so that is incredible i actually battled him as well i don't think my battle is featured in this run i'm not too sure actually but uh, he beat me with this team and the team is going to be double grass with verzian and venusaur in the back and then aurorus in the lead so ice double grass and yeah let's just go ahead and dive right into the battles and i'm really excited to see how these battles play out uh we saw that jellicent take it out right uh, and then the venusaur can come in and venusaur is going to go ahead and shield this one up and it's going to be a shadow ball that would do a lot to the venusaur uh venusaur going for the farm able to get the farm the opponent still has two shields they are up shields right so um We'll see what decides to come in. Going to be that Verizian, but Sludge Bomb will be doing nice damage to a Verizian. Uh, and they do go ahead and shield that. They're going to be able to throw an attack. It has to be a Stone Edge because if it's a Sacred Sword that is resisted and it is a Stone Edge. So good shield by Zero Fell Rose. Uh, in comes Aurora. So, you know, this is an interesting matchup because Aurora is weak to Grass, but Venusaur is weak to Ice, right? So we do see a shield there. Uh, and out comes Aurora as well. So they're going to be able to throw an attack. A Meteor Beam almost KOs, but it will not one-shot. It comes close. It does. It, it puts it in the red. But if Zero Fellows can reach this Meteor Beam, he can. This is going to KO the opposing Aurorus very nice there. So that will be enough to KO. And in comes... Ooh, in comes Verizian. Can't get to a Weather Bowl, but that is okay because the Stone Edge uh, should not KO this Venusaur, even if they get to it. And they actually don't get to it. So this Venusaur is going to be able to get to the Sludge Bomb and take the win over the opponent. So well played to both trainers. Absolutely incredible. Always an honor to shout kiss for a friend like Zero Fellows. Uh, so, okay, this is a bad matchup. Yes, they are weak to grass, but you're double weak to fighting, right? So you got to go into your uh, Verizian, which is exactly what is happening. They're going to be able to throw an attack. Maybe you farm up extra energy just in case they swap into like a Charizard or something. Um, you want to have that extra energy, right? The opponent is going to be able to win CMP here. So uh, it's going to be another double kick. They are staying in. Wonder what's in the back. Pokemon that do not appreciate Verizian, I tell you that. So <laughs> we're going to see a Sacred Sword right now that is going to pick up the shield. Uh, and we're going, or not, not pick up the shield, but do damage. <laughs> uh, so we're going to see another Sacred Sword come out, getting the Verizian low. Verizian from the opponent is going to go for a Sacred Sword. This is going to be enough to KO, but that is okay. At least you got the Verizian low, losing Switch. Uh, they're going to go ahead and switch into Aphros. Okay, you do resist. Well, you don't resist Brutal Swing, but you resist. You don't resist Dragon Pulse. They probably don't have that. You resist the Thunder Punch, the Volt Switch, and the Focus Blast. They do go for that Brutal Swing. Going to go ahead and charge up. Uh, just before they get off another one, I do like that play, obviously. For Zero Ferro's definitely really, really strong. Able to catch a Brutal Swing. This is definitely a Brutal Swing. Uh, no doubt about it. And you could probably farm down with the Auroras. I really do like that catch there. Um, yep, able to farm down. Absolutely incredible. Uh, so what is going to come in right now? I guess we'll find out soon enough. It is going to be an Aurorus. Okay, debate here. Do you go straight Meteor Beam? You could go straight Meteor Beam because you are ahead on energy, right? So we're going to see the Meteor Beam and they do go ahead and shield it. Now they might bait because as I said, you are ahead on energy and I, I, I'm thinking that they're going to bait. But it's too risky. So going to go ahead and shield and they do bait, which is unfortunate. Um... So we're going to go ahead and go for the Meteor Beam. Even though they were likely to bait, in my opinion, it's still really, really risky. Uh, and I may have shielded that as well, you know. So, did they go the Meteor Beam? Did they bait again? Xerophon is going to go ahead and call it. And it's the Meteor Beam, so that will KO. But Venusaur does have a lot of energy, so this is going to be... this. Sh well, is it enough to KO the Aurorus? It is enough to No, it's not. It's not actually enough. They bring in... There, Verizian, this Sludge Bomb will KO. To be honest, Frenzy Plant probably would have KO'd, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Uh, and then you need, like, one Vine with the KO, the Aurorus, and that is going to be a good game. Very well played to both trainers. Really tough lead, still able to overcome it. Moving on, Aurorus into Alolan Nine Tails. Okay. 
Um, I mean, yeah, you could stay in here. It's kind of tough. Like, you could bait. You could go straight media beam. Do you think they shield? They likely shield. So the bait, I would say, is a good bait. And I most of the time do bait as well. Uh, and they do shield that very nice. So now if you're the Aurorus, you could go for two media beams. One media beam to get the final shield. And you will reach another media beam as well. But they decide to switch out. Uh, what was that? Snorlax that came in? I think it was Snorlax that came in. Uh, it was Snorlax, so we're going to go ahead and switch into the Verizian now. Maybe go for the double kick down. Can we see that? Um, they're going to be able to throw an attack right now. It's going to be a body slam. Makes sense. Can we see the double kick down? I mean, they get to those body slam. Yeah, probably not. Going to go ahead and throw the Sacred Sword after charging up a lot of energy. It would have been a little bit too risky, right? Uh, so we know the Ninetales is coming in, but I think the, yeah, the Verizian definitely makes it. Oh, no, never mind. They bring in Giratina. Okay. So, this is actually really good, <laughs> because the Venusaur is going to get to avoid this Giratina, and obviously Venusaur does not like Giratina, right? Um, so, going to be able to go for another one, very nice here. This one is uh, just to get off some decent damage, uh, actually getting it pretty low. They're going to be able to farm down, but you have the Aurorus that you could bring in, and will bring in. Um, the only thing is, uh, the only thing is Ancient Power is going to get you very, very low. Um, okay, going to be able to get to it. Uh, let's see, do you think they shield this or they rely on Ninetales? They do shield it, but that's fine because it's low enough to where Frenzy Plant KOs, so you don't really have to worry about it now. You're definitely going to win this one. You charge up extra energy, you're going to be able to get up for like a Sludge Bomb against the lower Ninetales. This is going to be a win. Oh, they actually get to another attack. Venus are going to go ahead and respect it. Um, and it's going to be a Dragon Claw. Definitely have to farm up. Okay, uh, I'm not going to farm up too much. going to go ahead and throw this attack right now. Uh, this is going to KO. Uh, and then the yellow with nine tails will go down to a sludge bomb, and Venusaur is going to be able to get to a sludge bomb, and this is going to KO the yellow with nine tails, and that is going to be a good game. Very well played to both trainers. Oh, it didn't KO. Oh god, wow, that was actually closer than I thought. That sludge bomb did not KO. Wow, okay, I thought it was going to KO. Good game though. Let's move on. Aurorus into Giratina. Definitely where you want to see it. The backline does not really appreciate Giratina, so this is really good. Um, it's actually a close matchup because of Ancient Power and Dragon Breath, but again, this is where you want to see it. Aurorus definitely wants to see the Giratina here. Um, Giratina could, again, win this matchup, but as long as you get it low, I think that's fine. Uh, they're going to be able to throw an attack. We're going to see a shield right now. It's going to be an Ancient Power for sure. So, Zephyrl is wanting to win that matchup. In comes Charizard. Ooh. Okay, so... The backline doesn't like Charizard either, so... <laughs> Giratina and Charizard are definitely pretty tough. Um... They're going to be able to throw an attack Blast Burn at this range, I think KOs, so we're going to see a shield right now. Uh, going to go ahead and go for another Weather Ball, but can the Aurorus get to a Meaty Beam? Even if they shield, they don't shield. Ooh, that was really, really unfortunate. We do see another Weather Ball come out. Um, okay, they do go ahead and shield that. Alright, so, so a Blast Burn KOs, but they have to go for the Blast Burn, they can't go for the Dragon Claw, right? So, they do go for the Blast Burn. This is really rough, <laughs> because you're not going to make it to a Stone Edge. You'll make it to a Sacred Sword? Yeah, you make it to a Sacred Sword. I guess you have to get off some damage into it, even though I don't think this KOs. You still have to get off damage. Oh, it does KO. Okay, that worked out. In comes Giratina. Um, this actually worked out. We'll see what's in the back, but uh, they're going to be able to throw an attack. You will get to a Stone Edge, which will put the Giratina low. I'm um, going to over farm, good over farm the Stone Edge, again, it's going to put the Giratina pretty low, it's not going to be enough to KO, um, uh, and then bringing in the Venusaur, getting ahead on energy, they're going to go ahead and throw an attack, but that's fine, what could it be, we'll have to find out, it could be anything, <laughs> ooh, Magnet Zone, um, I think two Frenzy Plants KO a Magnet Zone, if I'm not mistaken, uh, they're going for the attack debuff, which makes sense, and they actually get it, which is really unfortunate. Now two probably don't KO. Um, yeah, another one will not KO now. Uh, so we're going to see another one come in right now. That attack D drop may have determined in this game, we'll see. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, throwing a CMP, nice counting by the opponent there. They're going to throw... I mean, shot should KO, but they throw the wild charge, that definitely KOs. Verizian coming in, they have another one. Well played by the opponent there, well played by Zero Ferros as well. Um, so Mirashad is going to be enough to finish off the Verizian. So good game. Uh, almost had that one, unfortunately not able to win, but that is okay. Moving on. Aurorus into Jellicent. Hmm. Well, 
Uh, Verizian doesn't like this, um, but you could, uh, okay, they bring in the Lola Nine Tails here, you could, you could mm, okay, well, we'll see, because Aurorus against, yeah, Aurorus doesn't really like Jellicent either, um, they actually let that go, which is good, and do you shield this? You'll get off a Sacred Sword, which will be enough to KO, I'm gonna go ahead and let it go, okay, so let it go, farm down with Venusaur, I do like that play, should be able to get that farm, look how much farm you're getting. Oh no, they do get to an attack, which is really, really unfortunate. So Venusaur will go ahead and shield this. Um, and still going to get a lot of farm, but unfortunately you do have to shield that Weather Ball. Oof, Obstagoon. Okay, so if you had the shield... Well, I mean, it's good that Obstagoon's coming in, I guess. But if you had the shield... If you didn't give up that shield, that's really unfortunate. They're going to be able to throw an attack right now. It's going to be an Ice Slash, of course, makes sense. Uh, charging up, charging up, charging up. Gonna go ahead and throw. Do they let this go? They probably do not let it go. Yeah, they shield that. Venusaur is really putting in a lot of work. <laughs> uh, so they're gonna go for this frenzy plant, and Obstagoon is gonna go ahead and double shield. Gonna go ahead and shield this, and I, th I mean, yeah, Venusaur should be able to make it to another one. Uh, another frenzy plant. Venusaur putting in a lot of work. Holy cow, I think that was a CMP type, but Venusaur able to take that one, and this is gonna KO. Um, and do they make it to a Shadow Ball before? Yeah, they're just gonna concede. I mean, that's gonna be a beautiful win there. Okay. Well, the thing is, if you safe swap into Verizian against a Jellison, chances are they think you probably have Leaf Blade because then why, why would you switch into that if you don't? Uh, Stone Edge is also neutral, um, so I guess that's probably why. But either way, really, really good matchup here. Of course, the Weather Ball. Or, uh, is super effective towards Verizian, but these double kicks, these Sacred Swords, are going to be double super effective. That is not going to KO. One more will be enough to pick up the knockout. Very nice. You love to see it. You really do. Uh, Giratina coming in. You'll be able to hit it with a Stone Edge before you go down. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, so this Stone Edge is going to connect for sure. Yeah, I mean, they're definitely not going to shield that. Uh, they'll be able to farm down. Okay, I actually able to get off some chip damage. It is double resistant, but you might as well go for it, right? Some decent chip damage. Um, they do farm down. And then Aurorus is coming in. They're going to bring in Lantern. Oh, yeah, Venusaur. Oh, Ven I, th I do think XL Lantern is pretty good, to be honest. But not against Venusaur, it isn't. <laughs> that is amazing. Uh, you let them throw Thunderbolt. You let them throw Surf. Doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, let them throw it. Totally fine. Venusaur is going to be able to farm down, and that is going to be a good game. Very well played. Well, I mean, they still have to give it Tina. So they'll be able to throw an attack. You just save your shields for the Aurorus. Um, you can throw uh, Frenzy Plants, and we, we we will see the Frenzy Plants being thrown. Um, this, this Venusaur does have two Frenzy Plants, but that is fine. Let's see if the give it Tina decides to shield. They do not. Uh, we're going to see another one. And will they shield this one? If they don't, they get KO'd, so they do shield that. Uh, but this Aurorus is going to be able to win. And the opponent will concede that game. And that is going to be a great game. Very well played to both trainers. Going up against a legend. Let's see how this goes. Aurorus into Kiram. Okay. A battle Kiram maybe one, once or twice. Not too often. Um, they bring in the Lola Ninetales. Um, mm, okay. So Stone Edge. Let's see. The, the other opponent did not shield the Stone Edge. This opponent is not going to shield it either. Uh, because, I mean, Ninetales does survive it. They don't really have to shield it. Will the Verizian shield... Yeah, they will shield. They do want to get off this uh, Sacred Sword. Um, Verizian has two Sacred Swords, but that that charm might KO the Verizian, actually. If they shield this, they do shield it. And unfortunately, yeah, Verizian goes down. So that's unfortunate. Rose will be able to farm down, not before being hit with the Weather Ball. You're going to be able to take this Weather Ball really well, but uh, the Kira will be coming in. However, the Media Beam will be doing a lot to Kira. Uh, so... Let's see if they decide to shield this. I mean, they'll be down both shields if they do shield this, so they might not shield it. They do not. That just KOs Kirim. Oh, Charizard coming in. You're lucky you still have the Aurorus. Uh, we're going to see a bait. Nope, straight medium beam. Hoping the opponent calls the bait. I think the opponent, probably the win condition is to call the bait. If you have the opponent, and that's exactly what they do. But it's not the bait. That is going to be a good game. Very well played to both trainers. We're moving on. We have another legend. Magneton, so Magneton is a really good Pokemon in this meta, gonna switch out, safe swap into Verizian, they bring in Charizard, you could win this matchup, it all depends how it goes, you want them to shield, I have double baited and got the shields in the past, both of them, um, so do you go for the, sac uh, the Stone Edge now, do you go for uh, another Sacred Sword, we'll see what happens, we're gonna see a shield right now, gonna be a Blast Burn, we're seeing straight Stone Edge, let's see if the opponent shields this, 
What will they do? They do shield it. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Um, oh, got to the Sacred Sword. Hmm, you would have barely made it to the Stone Edge. But that Stone Edge, if you could have gotten it off, if you made it, but it's hard to say. I mean, they might have not shielded it. It's, it's hard to say, all right? Right, but either way, Aurora's going to go ahead and uh, shield this one up. Uh, Blast Burn, yep, makes sense. That would have KO'd. Um, so, gonna go ahead and go for the Weather Ball, hoping this KOs. I actually don't know if this KOs the Charizard or not. Uh, this might not KO. It does not KO when they do get off an attack, even if it's a Dragon Claw, that is unfortunate. Uh, but it's not, it's Blast Burn, it's gonna KO. So, Venusaur is gonna be able to farm down, but uh, the opponent still has two Pokemon, including that Magneton, which is resisting which is resisting these attacks. So they're gonna be able to throw the Magnet Bomb right now. Doing a lot. Um, yeah, I mean, two Frenzy Plants, I guess, will KO the Magneton, but uh, Magneton will be able to get to another attack, and this is gonna KO the Venusaur, and that's gonna be a good game, very well played to both trainers. Definitely a tough one, no doubt about it. Magneton, I do think, is, is really solid in this meta. Moving on, going up against, against uh, a Legend. So going up against Charizard to begin with, which is really good. You do wanna see Charizard in the lead. They switch into double, out comes Virizian. Virizian loves the double kick uses. It loves Obstagoon, right? Because you're doing double super effective. Oh no, not double super effective. You're doing super effective damage towards the double wool, right? Which is definitely what you want to do. Um, and they're going to be able to throw an attack. You can take this. Uh, it's going to be a body slam. And that's totally fine. And yeah, not gonna be able to farm down. I think they just got to a move, to be honest. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this so they don't uh, force a shield. Definitely makes a lot of sense. Um, yeah, yep, Charizard's coming in. Can you make it? Going for it. Able to make it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I mean, if they don't shield this, this one shots, obviously. So they have to shield it. So there we go. Able to get the shield. Uh, Obstagoon in the back. So it's a double. It's Charizard counter double kick. I have seen that team myself before. I think it's a really solid team, to be honest. But this team going to be doing well against it. Um, that does so much damage. Um, they're charging up for days. Do they have Hyper Beam? I don't know. We're going to see a shield right now. They do have Hyper Beam. That is a beautiful call. That is a really good call there because you don't want the counter damage. Any counter damage on Aurorus, right? Let's move on to the next one. Aurorus into Gliscor. This is a dream lead. Absolutely green lead. They're gonna go ahead and switch out into double. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in the Venusaur now. Okay, okay, interesting. Last time we saw when they brought in, um, we saw the Virizion come in uh, against the double. This time we're seeing the Venusaur. But to be honest, I mean, both the Pokemon in the back have good matchups against double. You do resist the double kick attacks with the Venusaur, so that's really good. Uh, they're gonna be able to throw another one. The body slams are really adding up though. Um, and one more will KO. So we'll see. We'll see if they want to shield. They could shield this and go for it. Like, they probably will, to be honest. Yeah, they do. They really want to win Switch. Um, but this is where you could start shielding. I think you could honestly double shield and farm down. Like, you throw a Frenzy Plant to force a shield from them if they want to shield. And if they shield, you could shield and farm down. I think that's the play we're going to see. And that's exactly what is going to happen. They do throw an attack. Venusaur is going to go ahead and commit the shield, really wanting to win Switch here, and Venusaur should be able to uh, Vine Whip that down as it is. So, able to take that, very nice. In comes Gliscor. Obviously, you don't really want Gliscor. Well, yeah, I mean, you don't want Gliscor and Virizion because of the, the wing attack damage. It's double super effective. Uh, so, Aurora's coming in. They're going to bring in Obstagoon. Oh, you love to see. Another another double fighting type team, right? Uh, with Gliscor in the lead instead of Charizard. So, very cool there. Uh, one more double kick will KO and the opponent will concede that game. And that is going to be a great game. Very well played to both trainers. And I think that was Legend. Huge congratulations there, fellows. Definitely go ahead and follow him on all his social media platforms. The links to every channel will be in the description down below. Again, again, congratulations. I can't wait to meet you there. I'll be at Legend soon enough. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys will as well. Hopefully you all reach your goals in 2023. And I will see you all in the next one. Have a good day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.